Hello viewers and welcome to the channel. All right, back on our hands-on look at some of the Arduino boards. I've got a copy of the Pro Mini. In fact, I have two, but this one's called a Mini Pro, would you believe? Right, these are very, very small boards. You know, twice the size of my thumb now, if you can see that. Can we zoom in a bit on these? Uh, they don't feature USB on board, you need to talk to them via a uh, USB to serial adapter, uh, which cuts down the size of the board. They are based on the 80 Mega 328 again, and they can take, apparently, I don't know about this one, but the, the spec sheet says they can take an input voltage of 3 to 12 volts. I mean, maybe that is a regulator there. I cannot see any regulator on this one, so I wouldn't recommend that. Again, as, like I said, these are these two are Chinese copies. Excuse these pins. I have been playing with, a, with this one a bit. Uh, I mean, these are about £2 on eBay for the Chinese copies. They seem to work well. And I always power them off over like 5 volts anyway. Uh, this supports, would you believe, 14 digital input outputs. And it can have 6 PWM. So th this little baby is quite good for probably driving servos and things like that. It's got a UART on it. Obviously it needs that to, for your programming. But you can utilise that in comms. Uh, it also has uh, SPI and uh, I2C connections and you've also got six analog inputs as well so quite a versatile little device for a couple of pound Can I, yep right I'm at full zoom now there's nothing much on the underside absolutely nothing on the underside as you see this can plug into a shield so you get better connections But yeah, uh, that's, that's, a two, that's get my words right. A, a superb little device. Uh, it's, a, it's got 32k of flash and 2k of RAM, and it's got a uh, an E squared uh, prom of uh, 1k. So you can put uh, you know program details on the fly, which will be saved when you switch the actual device off ideal for models anything like that okay many thanks for watching